Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Aram and today I'm going to do a video analysis. Retake. Timode is junior rower from Blade Slovenia and the footage he's got is gorgeous and the place where he rows is gorgeous as well everybody knows that slovenia blade just you know beautiful what else you want to say now let's jump right into the technique now as we have a top shot here there's something very interesting and i think a lot of athletes do this let's pause the video there if if we go back and have a look at this guys you, you see the shoulders check where my cursor is right now so the shoulders is a very often discussed topic how far should you bring them back? And this is clearly too far, definitely too far. The reason why I say so is a simple one. You know, if I bring my shoulders all the way here, how much extra length do I get? Not a lot. And at which point of the stroke do I get a lot of extra length? Right there. Now check the angle of the blades. They're more pushing towards the boat. So to me, it's, it's, it is ineffective. It doesn't create any extra speed, but it takes a lot of energy to do this. You know, this is, ah, and it also gets you out of your stability um, posture within your body. You shouldn't do this. So bringing the shoulders back is good to bring the chest bone out. All right, I get this, but it's not effective and it doesn't get any any, any extra speed. To me, I almost I almost like to have the shoulders a bit forward, this way. You know, they don't need to be straight. They don't need to be all the way back. You can leave them forward. Why? Because the the only thing that propels our boat is the mass our body mass this is the effective part and the tiny bit of shoulder motion up there it's useless it's better to leave the shoulders where they are and timothy what you do nicely here as far as i can tell um have a look at this guys you gotta get really close to the screen now the hands and the elbows are about at the same height so that's that's one crucial factor um, because if you have hands and elbows at the same height there's one force vector traveling through if you don't know what a force vector is it's very simple Imagine you had a, you had to draw a line. You know, you pull, want to pull on something. Now, if you pull this way, the force would actually like to travel straight, but it has to take a turn, and every turn it has to take makes you a bit weaker in terms of force you can transfer. So, therefore, bring the elbow up is very effective. But at the finish, you should have relaxed shoulders, shoulders a bit forward. Use the body as a heavy anchor. Um, so I like the elbow position. I don't like that you bring the shoulders so far back and you see this now and This here is a good mobility exercise, but it takes a lot of time and you see it's, it's not effective At this part of the stroke you cannot propel any further now you see full force connection pretty much a straight line now following the stroke a bit more Now ah, I see ah Timothy look You're using your trunk I think, okay, now, now I understand the problem. Look, let, let's go in chronological order. So the effect I see is that you see the last part of the stroke is basically arms only. And a bit of shoulder rotation, which is not effective. I know the single skull is per se a slow boat, so arms only could work, but mostly for lightweight women. And as they don't have um, arms as massive as, as like heavyweight men, Heavyweight, uh, lightweight women also rely on um, the, the upper body weight as, as a propelling factor. So even there, although the boat speed um, of all top boats is with lightweight women singles the slowest, I would still recommend not to do arms only at the finish. And ma heavy man um, singles, which you are, I, the boat speed is simply too high. I wouldn't not do arms only here because you cannot... How do you want to continue a speed buildup that is started with massive legs, um, massive upper body? Your arms are not as strong as your upper body and your and your legs. It just doesn't work. So why you want to? Why, why do you think you can create extra speed with arms only? It's not happening. So I would I would avoid the arms only thing as much as possible. If you have a bit of it, it's all right, but don't don't do too much. So the problem is you basically interrupt the upper body here. Possibly because you've been told that you shouldn't lean that that far back into the finish Which is alright, but then you have to change the timing 
and by this I mean leg drive, leg drive, leg drive and this is exactly where I, start, where I would start to change the timing a bit hold on to your trunk a, bit, a little longer, you see this? now you start to pivot upward which is not bad but you have a long upper body so with a long upper body uh, use it a little later, a little later because your arms should start to work now with the upper body along with the upper body because the upper the, the arms don't really propel the boat they just help you to finish the stroke because other than on, on, on these linear ergs which just have to be heavy and, and use a bit of mass in the boat you actually have to pull outwards with the elbows which you do nicely so you actually want to support that motion with the upper body in order to create extra speed because the arms alone can't do it so wait a little longer with that upper body pivot you know use the legs longer before you start to pivot and then and then make sure the arms support the upper body not it's not legs then upper body then arms and high boat speed situations it doesn't work anymore and this way you can actually leave the shoulders where they are now I understand why you do this because you basically assist the upper body with the arms whop and that's the most effective way to create boat speed with this beautiful drone shot from blade slovenia timote i hope this is somewhat of a help for you i wish you all the best and i'm looking forward to see more of your fast rowing all right guys if you haven't subscribed do me a favor do it a lot of you guys are watching without subscribing so for me it means a lot and i wish you a very good day i'm looking forward to see you soon